All right, it's one more episode. All right, guys, this is uh, Live Long Gear, and today I have uh, another Koglin's product. It's the Dynamo flashlight. So, uh, or flashlight torch, excuse me, sorry. So anyways, they, uh, they make this both language, which is, which is a little different. This is one of the first products I've seen that actually has it on the front um, in both languages. Maybe there's more, maybe it's just the area you're in. Maybe it's a newer product by them and they're trying to reach a broader audience. Um, so, it sells with the idea, uh, it's a windable, um, windable uh, LED light. So that's what you should be able to do. It says no batteries required. So I bought it because I thought, you know, okay, maybe this will be cool to have, take camping, um, you know, put in my tent in case I have to get up and urinate in the middle of the night. You know how that is. It's cold. Nobody likes it. Um, so it's, and it's tiny. So it says it's good for backpacks, glove compartments, gear bags. My problem with leaving batteries in the truck is I live in a cold area and, uh, you know, they, they die over the winter. And I know you can do things, you know, put put things in between the batteries so it doesn't wear them down, but it never works for me. Seems like mine always die. Uh, so I like the idea of having a windable flashlight. So, um, it says one minute of winding will produce 30 minutes of bright light. Fast winding works best. So don't wind it slow because it takes longer, I guess is the moral of the story. Just wind handle to charge, no batteries to replace. Two super bright LED bulbs provide plenty of light. Well, we'll see, Koglins, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and just and we're in. Tried not to cut anything important. But you never know. All right. Nearly there. We're in. All right. Got it. No instructions, I assume. You know, some products come with instructions, some don't. So I assume this set of instructions on the back is what you're going for. Hey, look at that. Now you can see what it is. Okay, so this is it. It's pretty tiny. Actually, for a Koglin's product, I mean, they make some okay stuff. Sometimes, not as, not as okay. So it says, turn clockwise. I'm going to refer to the directions to make sure. Yep. There we go. Clockwise. Uh, winding, winding. Okay, I'm gonna try and go for the full 30 seconds here. Mm -hmm. If anybody knows anything about the longevity of these things, uh, I'd appreciate it if you could let me know what you find out. It makes a cool noise. It sounds like one of those remote control robots you had when you were a kid. Maybe like a little remote control boat. Oh, it's one and one. All right, I think we're getting within five seconds of 30 seconds. And I'm gonna cut it there. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, oh hey, we got a light. All right, let's, let's dim our lights. It's a little better, a little bit. Let me, give me 30 seconds. I'll turn off, when well, it won't be 30. Turn off the other lights. All right. So it's super dark now. There you have it. It's actually pretty bright, I think. So um, I'm gonna move it back accordingly. So it's about one foot off the ground, about two feet, about three. Yeah, it's about three feet, I'd say. So you got, you know, pretty decent light. I know the camera's freaking out on me now, trying to figure out what's going on with the lighting situation. But there you have it. It's actually not a bad bad brightness. It, it, it uh, fans out very quickly. Let me turn the lights back on. Just wait momentarily. But uh, yeah, like I was saying, the, uh, the light fans out, you know, opens up and goes very quickly from the beginning. Um, which, which, is a, which is a good thing, but if you're trying to, you know, hunt, may not be the best. I don't know. Depends what you're hunting, I guess. So it's very, very bright, lets you see a wide radius. The, the light distance doesn't seem to be as far, but I mean, look at the size of this thing and it's a wind-up light. So I'd say it's a great deal. I wanna say I paid seven or eight dollars from Amazon, seven or eight. I, I think it's a great deal. I'm actually very much enjoying this. So very bright. It says it lasts for 30 minutes after 30 seconds of winding. So I think that's a, 
it's a good deal. I would definitely throw this into a bug out bag. I would throw this into survival gear, emergency gear. And the thing I like about it is you can put it in some place um, cold and you don't have to worry about replacement batteries or the battery dying. You have, you have a good solid product that seems to last a long time. So I'd like to compare some other wind-up lights. I had one in the past and it worked, but my problem was that the longevity just was not there. Um, so for six or seven bucks or whatever I paid for this, it was it was less than ten. You know, I don't think it can be beat. And I bought this off of Amazon, so if you find one, you can't find it for like six or seven bucks. Don't yell at me. I found it on Amazon. So check that out. But uh, fairly simple light. So uh, there you have it, guys. I You know, LED, it should burn. Those light bulbs should go forever. Should not have any problems. It feels, it feels fairly sturdy. I'd worry that in the cold, uh, this plastic might get a little brittle. Uh, you know, be susceptible to dropping, so... Um, I would worry about that, but like I say, you know, you don't have to buy batteries for this, so why not have several of them? I think it's an amazing deal. It doesn't weigh very much. There's, there's the size comparison on the dollar bill. Um, fairly tiny. So, it's a good product. I like it. I didn't know I was going to like it this much. I was thinking it was just going to be kind of a dim light. It wasn't going to work out well, but certainly works well. So, uh... Buy it for the Boy Scouts, buy it for the kids, buy it for camping, buy it for whatever reason you want to have it. Um, and if you get any ideas, if, if Coleman's, I'm going to check them out and see if they make a similar product. If Coleman's makes one, I'll try that, because I want to see I want to see what that looks like. So there you are, this is, a, this is a kind of a camping, survival, bug out, whatever you want to have, or just throw it in your truck like I do, or car, because it's cold in the winter and that eats batteries. So alright guys, comment, subscribe, like the channel if you like it, like the video if you like it. Really appreciate some subscriptions. Um, and uh, take care. Be safe.